This is my student support system. Keep watching, keep learning. Next one is epididymis. Epididymis is a coma shaped organ about 4 cm long that lies along the posterior border of each testis. This one, this is epididymis. The efferent duct from the testis join epidem epididymis at the larger side here. That is called head. They join here. The body is the narrow mid portion of the epididymis and the tail is smaller inferior portion. The ductus epididymis would measure about 6 meter in length if they were uncoiled. It is lined with the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium and encircled by layers of smooth muscles. Functionally, the epididymis is the site of sperm maturation. The process by which the sperm acquire motility and the ability to fertile ovum. Vas deferens. The next duct is vas deferens. The ductus deferens or vas deferens is about 45 cm long. It starts from the tail of epididymis and ascends along the posterior border of epididymis through the spermatic cord and then enters into the pelvic cavity. The terminal last portion that is dilated of the ductus deferens is called ampulla. The muscularis is composed of three layers of smooth muscles. The inner and outer layers are longitudinal and the middle layer is circular. Functionally, the ductus deferens conveys sperm during sexual arousal from the epididymis towards the urethra by peristaltic contractions of muscularis. Spermatic cord. In the spermatic cord is a paired structure whose main function is to support and suspend the testes into the scrotum. It consists of ductus deferens, the testicular arteries, veins, autonomic nerves, lymphatic vessels and the cremaster muscle. Ejaculatory duct. Each ejaculatory duct is about 2 cm long and is formed by the union of ducts from the seminal vesicle and the ampulla of ductus deferens. They terminate in the uh, prostatic urethra where they eject sperm and seminal vesicle secretions. Seminal vesicles. These are seminal vesicles here. Seminal vesicles or seminal glands are pouch like structures and about 5 cm in length. Through the seminal vesicle ducts, they secrete an alkaline viscous fluid that contains fructose, prostaglandin, and clotting proteins and become a constituent of semen. The alkaline nature of the seminal fluid helps to neutralize the acidic environment of the male urethra and female reproductive tract that otherwise would inactivate or kill the sperm. Semen is a mixture of sperm, seminal fluids, a liquid consists of secretions of the seminiferous tubule, seminal vesicles, prostate and bulbourethral glands. The prostate is a single donut shaped gland. It measures about 4 cm from side to side. This one is prostate here. 3 cm top to bottom and 2 cm from, from front to back. Prostatic secretions make about 25% of the volume of semen and contribute to the sperm motility and viability. Bulbourethral glands. The paired bulbourethral glands are, or we can say Cowper glands are two uh, glands which are of the size of a pea. They are located inferior to the prostate on either side of the membranous urethra. Bulbourethral glands secrete 
an alkaline flue into the urethra that protects the sperm by neutralizing the acids of urine in the urethra the penis the penis contains urethra and a pathway for the ejaculation of the semen and excretion of urine so this work is common for the urine pass out and semen ejaculation it is a cylindrical in shape and consists of a body glass penis and root the body of penis is composed of three cylindrical masses of tissue each surrounds by a fibrous tissue called tunica albuginea the two dorsolateral masses are called corpora cavernosa so these two dorsolateral masses are corpora cavernosa the smaller midventral mass of is corpus spongiosum penis this one is corpus spongiosum which contains spongy urethra and keep this urethra open during ejaculation the distal end of the corpus spongiosum penis is slightly enlarged a cone shaped and is called glass penis skin and subcutaneous layer encloses all three masses these three cylindrical masses are also known as erectile tissue erectile tissue is composed of numerous blood sinuses lined by endothelial cells and surrounded by smooth muscles and elastic connective tissue covering the glass in uncircumcised penis is the loosely fitted prepuce or foreskin the root of penis consists of a bulb of the penis here this one is the bulb of penis which is extended portion of the base of corpus spongiosum and the crura of penis these are crura of penis which are two separated and tapered portion of corpora cavernosa the bulb of penis is attached to the inferior surface of deep muscles of the perineum and is enclosed by bulbo spongiosus muscle crura of penis bends laterally away from the bulb of the penis and attaches to the ischial and inferior pubic rami and is surrounded by the ischio cavernosus muscle my student support system keep watching keep learning